What's up and welcome back. That was a quick playthrough on the Ludwig kit, which was my previous project, and now we're on to this. A vintage Gretsch 4103 snare drum. This was given to me by my fiance's co-worker who knew I was into drums and figured I could fix it up, so that's what I'm going to do with it. And although it is a Gretsch, it has been Frankenstein together over the years with some Ludwig and Pearl parts. And those parts themselves seem to be from the 60s and 70s, so somewhat period correct. And a few small holes where the original throw off and butt plate were mounted, so those will need to be addressed. Then we get to this wrap, which is trashed and will definitely need to be replaced. But overall, a solid drum and salvageable, so let's get to it. I start by loosening the tension rods on the top head so I can get that off and better inspect the inside of the shell. And as always, some disgust of dust. Now with the head off, we can get a better look inside at that famous silver Gretsch interior, as well as the sticker. Also noticing that there is little to no rust on the inside of this shell, um, on the hardware specifically, so that is a plus. As far as the edges go, they are not terrible, they are dry, but the haggardness you are seeing is from the wrap going up to the edge and not being done quite right. And here you can see some separation uh, from the shell or a bubble in the wrap from the pressure of the head, um, the inside collar pressing down where the wrap was not feathered into the edge correctly. And with moving on and getting everything else off the shell. From what I've researched online, I believe this to be the Pearl President Gladstone throw off. It's an MIJ or made in Japan. I could be wrong. If you know, please comment below. And here you can see the nice deep snare beds. On to taking a peek under this wrap after removing the lugs, my initial thought was how hard this wrap was going to be to remove, but luckily enough, it only took seconds. The shell depth measures to five and a quarter inches. Although it is hard to see, that's what it says. And it's stickier than all hell. After getting the shell all stripped down, it was time to soak everything else in some good old Evaporust. Thank you. 
The lugs and everything else were pretty clean and probably could have just used a really good wipe down and a polish, but I've got plenty of time, so I'm gonna let this stuff sit for a few days. And by having plenty of time, I mean having to wait 7 to 14 days until my wrap arrives. Just like last time, I hop on Reach out of Australia and purchase what I think will do this snare drum some justice and hopefully restore it back to close to an original period piece. So stay tuned in for the next video on this here Gretsch snare drum. And until next time, drums, drums, drums. <laughs>